Hello everyone and welcome once again on my channel. So in this tutorial I will show you how you can set up Minikube uh, on your local system or Windows 10. So let's get started. First step is just search Minikube setup in Windows 10 and click on the first link. Here are some prerequisites to install Minikube. So you will need two CPUs, two GBs free memory, 20, uh, 20 GBs of free disk space, internet connection and a container of a virtual machine manager uh, like Docker, Hyper-V, uh, VirtualBox. So in this tutorial, I will show you how you can install Minikube and we will use Minikube through a Docker machine. So first thing, uh, if you don't have uh, Docker on your laptop or your local system, so first install it. For installation, you just search Docker Desktop for Windows. Here you will find the first link. As you can see here, there is a link for download de uh, Docker Desktop. So just simply click and the downloading has been started. So in my case, I already have a Docker on my system. When you have done your installation, uh, for check the installation completed or not, simply open your CMD. And here you will search Docker version. Here you can see I have a docker version of 20.10.21 so I am now ready for install Minikube so please make sure first that uh, docker is installed on your system after that we will able to install Minikube so the process of uh, install Minikube is very simple. If you are uh, using Windows, it, it will by default selected all the... So it is also available for Linux and Mac OS. So uh, as I told you that uh, we are installing Minikube on Windows, so it's by default selected. So there are two methods to install Minikube. One is download and run the installer for the latest release or the other thing you can use PowerShell to download the Minikube. So so I will download Minikube through PowerShell. So just simply copy this command, open your window and search PowerShell. So this is my PowerShell. I just simply paste the command and you can see the downloading has been started. And if I just show you where it's downloading it's downloading in my C C drive and here you can see the folder named as minikube if I refresh this you can see the size is increasing if I refresh once again you can see the size is increase so it will take few minutes for downloading. Now you can see 
our installation has been completed and if I just show you here this is our minikube.exe file which is uh, in my PC and uh, local disk and uh, here in local disk there is a folder or directory named as minikube now now if I go back to my documentation the second step is uh, to set our path to your path okay so just copy the path and uh, for minikube for that uh, we make sure to run PowerShell as administrator so open your PowerShell once again and uh, this time we will run as administrator and here we will paste you once your installation of uh, minikube and docker has been completed so you must restart your system so I already have installed docker and uh, minikube so I will not restart my system but in your case you will restart your system after installing minikube and docker Now it's time to start our minikube. For start minikube, just type minikube start. It's starting. Here you can see our cluster has been created. So this is the command kubectl get is control plane. So this is it for uh, this video. Hope you guys are uh, enjoying that tutorial. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment box. And uh, I will also put the links in description for in installation of Docker and Minikube. So thank you so much. And uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel. Uh, I will see you in next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.